Hey guys, Rex here. Supply chains are looking to get goofy again. Uh, a lot of big lockdowns in China, and that lag hasn't totally hit us yet, but the parts on everything are weird. You guys know that. I don't need to explain it to you. Um, there are some items that right now are still pretty cheap. They haven't caught up to the inflation. They haven't tri doubled and tripled in price yet. A lot of stuff is. Food, gasoline is starting to show its uh, inflated price. Um, some of the stuff, like some rifles, are still pretty cheap if you were looking for one. They haven't gone up that much in price. Mags, stuff like that. Ammo has gone up in price a lot, right? One thing that hasn't gone up in price yet, and this is in my forte, are optics. Some of them have. A lot of them have. Um, but, uh, like, the availability has been on and off. And the price hasn't caught up yet. If you're looking for a good precision optic, I would grab one now um, while you can. There's an old adage too, and it's actually a rule. One is none and two is one, right? So if you got, uh, the best way to maintain any system, if you got a rifle with a sling and your accessories and your light and little cords and everything, people often ask, well, what spare parts should a guy get? The best spare parts you can get for anything is one more of the entire item because you have all the parts right there. It's actually the cheaper way to buy it that way too. Um, something breaks or wears out, if you have the tools to switch it out, um, absolutely you can do that. Now, when you're talking about uh, precision instruments, there's a lot of stuff that can fail. There's a lot of little screw components that can potentially, you know, if you're adjusting stuff, you can lose something. It's good to have all the spare parts. And there's a lot of different sizes. It's tricky to track all that down. So I like to actually do pace planning, primary, alternate, contingency, emergency, um, for my critical stuff. Like my go-to rifles, I have, for example, pretty much the same M4, just a, a bone stock M4 with the A2 front sight base, normal Magpul furniture, and a pretty affordable optic on it with the same sling, same setup. I can literally take the sling the way it fits me and just lay them next to each other side by side and get them set up exactly the same. That way I have pace planning and I can keep these in different spots, you know, and if something breaks, I can just swap out stuff and I don't have to relearn my manual of arms. If you're into precision rifle shooting, it's a lot more expensive to do that because precision rifle optics are inherently kind of expensive, right? Especially if you get the full gamut of features like you have your magnification, variable magnification in the first focal plane, mill mill configuration, you know, in a decent sized scope that's for your long range deal, right? Like I do a lot of very specific niche type long range shooting for target shooting and varmints and, you know, maybe tactical applications in a very narrow niche or whatever. But uh, it's hard to, and I got two Schmidt and Bender PM2s, but that's like, the price of a car, you know what I mean? That's the price of a car to do that. I don't have two Steiner M7s, I'd like another one. No, the fact of the matter is that even me, with all my you know, ability to probably get more stuff than I need um, because of the connections industry-wise or whatever, like that stuff's too expensive, they don't hand it out, right? So keeping it affordable is like a big deal. And so one deal I just, and the thing that prompted this video to kind of remind you guys to grab stuff while there are supplies, while the supply and change are still there, but also but beat the inflation. I think stuff like that's either gonna be gone or it's gonna be three, four, five, ten 10 times the price, if it's even available. Once all this, this stuff catches up from all the goofy supply chain stuff. And some of the stuff here, we're cold to it, we're sleeping to it because like, wow, we weren't, we weren't locked down here in the States recently. Well, the place where a lot of stuff is made was like really hardcore, even in some places still are. So that's definitely something that takes a while to catch up. Just like for the last three years, it takes a little while to catch up till now. We're start seeing a lot of the huge problems like in the food networks and stuff are going to go real bad this coming fall. I think you're going to see the same thing in certain industries. Okay. So, um, but I got a call from Mike who is on SEAL Team 1. He works with these guys and they're always, they take care of Rex Reviews. If you're looking for one of these deals, they're in stock actually today, right now. <laughs> I don't know, like they, it took a while for these to come in stock. This is the EP5. This is their like, uh, it's, it's like their, the feature sets like a, like a PM2, right? 
It's way more affordable. A couple hundred bucks. Very affordable. You guys have seen me do reviews on it. This one's still in the box. Sorry. I haven't even taken it out yet. This is the EP5, okay? They come packaged. This is a sunshade. This is just wrapped around here. And, well, we got 5 to 25 power. We got 34 millimeter tube. They're tough. The turrets are built really well. I tested a bunch of them. I've seen um, some minor issues out of the giant sample size I've had. But for the most part, these are very, very, very good. When you compare them to other stuff in the price range, I mean, they're, this is a really good deal. Um, they work good enough. I got a bunch of them. So this is part of my pace planning for my precision rifle equipment, if you will. Um, you got a lot of adjustment, very precise adjustments. Um, the tracking precision graduation is like dead on. It's illuminated even, first focal plane. Configured really nice, and the glass is really good. A nice reticle too for long range, a very fine aiming point, even on 25 power is pretty usable. So the Arkin EP5s are in. Um, I haven't been paying attention to most other stuff because I'm caught up on my pace planning on most of my other stuff. I haven't been in the market for ammo or guns for a while. I've got plenty of that, but optics are something to where like, you got so many different kinds of scopes. It's hard to double and triple up on something like this unless it's an affordable price range. So they are back in stock and they work good. I mean, like you can compare it with stuff that's, I don't want to be exaggerating, but they should be charging way more than they are. Three times more. I'd say they should charge a thousand bucks. That's just my opinion. Uh, cause they're very robust. They're built well and they perform pretty damn good. So check it out. Uh, there is a code, uh, Mike reminded me to share with you guys. If you put these in your cart with the combo pack, they call it the C pack. So if you put one of the EP fives or whatever scope they have there, these are in stock. They've been out for a long time, but put it in your cart with the combo pack, which is a really nice mount or a set of rings. I think you can do, and it has uh, flip up covers and, um, the bubble indicator and the throw lever for quick, um, you know, magnification changes and a bunch of other stuff in the combo pack. You basically save $170 off of something that's, you know, already very affordable. So you get the whole combo pack basically for free if you use the Rex 170 code. I'll share it below the code there, but Rex 170 is the code. Um, they take care of the channel, so that's cool. It's one of those outfits that actually has been appreciative of what we've been doing for a long time, so they reciprocated that with letting me have a code to share with you guys. So that's cool. Other stuff that I'm thinking too to start grabbing while you can, guys, is like um, maybe lubricants are still cheap, um, you know, for your machines, whether it be your automobile, your diesel, parts, if you can get them, like parts, filters, Filters that wear out, like I'm, I'm thinking to go down and just get a bunch of filters so I can change oil. I'll figure out like how, what's the life expectancy of all my vehicles, figure out which filter it is, how many miles are on them, and then buy that amount of filters. Windshield wipers. I mean, some of that stuff is way more expensive, but when availability goes to zero, what are you gonna do, put freaking rags on your windshield wiper? You know what I mean? Like some of this stuff is cheap now and it's really hard to build it in your garage. I mean, maybe you can build a windshield wiper in your garage that works, but I wouldn't want to have to carve one out of rubber, right? Way cheaper and way easier to grab the stuff ahead of time. What, are you going to go and build a rifle scope in your garage? No, you're not going to. If you want to maintain the capability of your center fire cartridge ri rifle and the precision potential of it by being able to see your target and adjust accurately, um, you're going to want to make sure you have your magnified optics up and running. It's also the weak link of any system because it's a fragile instrument, right? So that's the part I would make sure I have lots of parts on. Uh, so I always get a bunch of them. I got actually a bunch of extras of these. Um, I got a bunch of them mounted up and then I have like one or two in reserve, you know, just in case, like, cause I plan, I am pretty rowdy with my stuff. I haven't broken any of mine yet. None of mine have broken. I've seen ones that they 
you know, they get like testing and evaluation done with uh, other outfits. They send them off to like sniper competitions and these guys are trying to break them and they'll like twist the thing off or whatever, right? So I get to see those and they usually still work. They're just messed up, you know? So they're pretty tough. Like any, you can break anything, but um, it's good to have spare parts because, you know, Murphy's Law going to like fall or drop it on something or drive over it or something stupid, right? So think, think years in advance. And if this deal goes south, I'm also, just as the how I roll, I've been this way when I purchased my rimfire ammunition. Like, I'm thinking of my little guy, and he's little, and he's got a whole life ahead of him where maybe it would have been cool if Papa had the foresight to grab some of the stuff while it was available. Could you imagine if you went in a time machine and went back into, like, 1920s and knew what was going to happen, you know, later with the uh, NFA and all that? could have bought from Sears Roebuck a big pile of Tommy guns, you know, or, or like pre-1984, uh, right? I knew guys that had the foresight, or pre, excuse me, pre-1986, which is also 1984-ish, right? But uh, they went and did a lot of stuff, you know, and got it on paper and got their stuff done, and then they, they made bank later, right? So having that kind of foresight ahead of time on whatever it is, whether it be automobiles or tractors, garden tractors implements stuff that takes parts to make and stuff where people ain't going to work there's huge supply issues a big war with russia would be bad they have a lot of metals there they have a lot of stuff and china does too right and if we are all of a sudden overnight due to even some politics deal i mean stuff like that can just get turned off and then we're starting from ground zero i mean we're starting from nothing and we have to revamp. And, you know, it'd be nice to have some of these things ahead of time, right? Like boots. I, I also keep multiple pairs of shoes in reserve. And I go through them just even without there being a problem, right? Because I use my boots, right? So think like that in your pace planning. Pace planning is a thing. It really is. So whatever it is, whether it be components or, I don't know, you know, stuff, anything that can break that you kind of need, I'd grab it now. While it's cheap. And on the curve, because it's my forte, you can ask other guys, why don't you share below what your profession is and what your forte is and what you would recommend in your profession is uh, still really cheap right now that we can all, this stuff that we need, right? So share, share below what you guys see. This is my spiel. So I'm just telling you that, hey, this is available today. If you want one, Rex 170 with the combo pack in your cart and it'll apply then and you'll get basically $170 off, which gives you the combo pack for free. So that's pretty good. If I was, um, I don't know, if I was an airplane mechanic, then I would tell you which airplane parts would be cheap now. I don't know. <laughs> I was actually talking with one of those guys in the last class too. He uh, does aircraft and aerospace stuff, parts. And he says, it's getting weird, man. It's getting weird. Don't Nobody knows what's in the future. So hmm. I'm not into gambling. So I like to win immediately now while it's available while I can. Just wanted to share that with you guys. You guys have a good fourth. Have a good weekend. Be safe. God bless. Rex out.